Blue Lock Season 2 has delivered a moment fans have been eagerly anticipating, the electrifying clash between the Blue Lock team and Japan's U-20 national squad. This is no ordinary match. It's a contest of dreams, strategy, and skill where both sides bring everything to the table. But what makes this face-off so extraordinary? Let's dive into the intense buildup, key tactical highlights, and the fan reactions surrounding this pivotal moment in Blue Lock. The journey leading up to the match was nothing short of gripping. Blue Lock's unorthodox training program, designed to forge the ultimate striker, has already turned heads. But this game is their chance to prove their philosophy on a grand stage. Facing them is the U-20 national team, representing the very best in traditional Japanese soccer. The atmosphere is electric. The Blue Lock team exudes confidence, driven by their mantra of ego above all, while the U-20 squad carries the weight of representing an entire nation. This match isn't just about winning, it's about redefining the future of soccer in Japan. One of the match's defining aspects is the clash of personalities and philosophies. On the Blue Lock side, Isagi and Nagi emerge as the central figures, showcasing creativity and flair in their offensive plays. Isagi's ability to read the game and predict opponent moves makes him the linchpin, while Nagi's technical brilliance ensures that Blue Lock always has a trump card up its sleeve. In stark contrast, the U-20 team relies on the disciplined leadership of Sae Itoshi and the raw talent of Shido. Sae's calculated approach to the game mirrors his experience, while Shido's explosive energy adds an unpredictable edge. Together, they create a fascinating dynamic that puts Blue Lock's ego-driven offense to the ultimate test. The game itself is a chess match on the pitch. Blue Lock's offensive strategy is bold, aggressive, and relentless. They aim to overwhelm their opponents by controlling the tempo and exploiting defensive gaps. However, this comes with a trade-off, an exposed backline that leaves them vulnerable to counterattacks. The U-20 team, on the other hand, opts for a defensive masterclass, employing a five-back formation to stifle Blue Lock's creativity. This setup isn't just about preventing goals, it's about breaking the momentum of Blue Lock's offense and forcing errors under pressure. As the match unfolds, the tactical battle becomes a spectacle in itself. Blue Lock pushes forward with wave after wave of attacks, testing the resilience of U-20's defense. Meanwhile, U-20 waits for the perfect opportunity to strike back, leveraging their discipline and cohesion to exploit Blue Lock's weaknesses. The hype around this match isn't just limited to the field, it's reverberating throughout the fan base. On one hand, viewers are captivated by the storyline and the high-stakes nature of the game. The character development, particularly Asagi's growth as a leader, has been a highlight for many. On the flip side, some fans have expressed dissatisfaction with the animation quality of this season. While the strategic elements and character dynamics have received praise, there's a growing sentiment that the visuals haven't matched the intensity of the narrative. Discussions on forums and social media are ablaze, with fans debating whether the storytelling is strong enough to compensate for the perceived shortcomings in animation. Isagi's breakthrough. Isagi's ability to find spaces and create opportunities showcases why he's one of Blue Lock's most pivotal players. His strategic plays keep viewers on the edge of their seats. Say his leadership. The way Sei orchestrates U-20's defense and transitions into counterattacks is a masterclass in tactical awareness. Nagi's game-changing goal. Nagi's composure under pressure leads to a stunning goal that shifts the momentum of the game. Shido's explosive play, Shido's raw energy and unpredictability remind everyone why he's considered a wild card in the U-20 lineup. This isn't just a match, it's a defining moment for both teams. For Blue Lock, victory would validate their radical approach to creating the ultimate striker and cement their place in Japanese soccer history. For the U-20 team, it's about maintaining the status quo and proving that traditional methods still hold value in the modern game. The clash also reflects broader themes about individuality versus teamwork, innovation versus tradition, and the lengths to which players are willing to go to achieve greatness. As the final whistle approaches, one thing is certain. This match will be remembered as one of the most thrilling moments in Blue Lock history. The stakes, the strategies, and the character arcs all come together to create a spectacle that goes beyond soccer. 
For fans of Blue Lock and anime in general, this is the kind of storytelling that keeps us coming back for more. Whether you're rooting for Blue Lock's ego-driven stars or the disciplined underdogs of the U-20 team, there's no denying the impact of this showdown. So, who will emerge victorious? Will Blue Lock's offensive brilliance prevail? Or will the U-20 squad's ironclad defense prove too much to handle? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure. This is a match you won't want to miss.